All right, we're back, and you're listening to 95.7 The Choice, coming to you live from the Asheville Radio Cafe, 81 Patton Avenue, downtown Asheville. <laughs> and I've got a special new guest to town, Christiana Benton. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Have you done radio interviews before? <laughs> no, nope, This is the first one. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we get to do the first radio <laughs> interview. How cool. Yep. Let's see how I stumble over my words. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask you first off. Um, this guy over here with the long beard, how did you get connected to go touring with him? Okay. And we're going to get to him in a little while, but yeah, I, I, I got to know how that all came about. Well, um, I have a friend I go to church with, called, uh, his name is Bruce Roberts, and he puts together these little tours called Traveling Troubadours, and basically what it is is it's a shorter tour where we do a combination of... Um, shows and then also outreaches to communities so um you know maybe one day we'll 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 play a venue show at night and then the next day we'll we'll lead worship for a church or we'll go do like a homeless ministry or something like that so uh just conveniently sean and i were both uh, able to do this one and so this is my first one he's kind of a, a veteran of it but yeah <laughs> have they gone easy on you i mean on, you know are they uh, are they giving you a hard time? Or have, they got, have they gone easy on you? I <laughs> yeah. see them smirking over <laughs> yeah, there in the are. corner. I'm like, ah, we got a newbie out here. We're going to give her a <laughs> yeah. hard time. <laughs> yeah, I think they put up with me pretty well. Any, any so. practical jokes yet? Yeah. No, I mean, what? I'll, I'll give them some ideas after we <laughs> yeah. finish the interview. I'll yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Don't, yeah, please, please do. <laughs> well, there's a cool park if you, uh, while you're here or while you I know you've got a few things going on, but Pritchard Park is mm -hmm. uh, right outside our window here, and... Uh, as long as you don't have any anything amplified, you're pretty much free to go in there and play. Oh, this, cool. This uh, town of Asheville's got more street buskers than, uh, per capita than anywhere in the world. Yeah, so Now that the awesome. weather's turned warm, we've got tons of people just uh, in every genre of music playing on almost every single street corner. Yeah, that drum have circle. Have you seen the white was... guy? Yeah, so I saw the white guy with the birds. kind of the robot thing happening. <laughs> yeah. yeah, with the bird on the shoulder. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. What's really funny is to see him... Like after he's all done, just walking down the street and yeah. going to the ATM and yeah. you know putting his tips in the ATM and stuff. Just, that's awesome. He looks okay in that setting, but walking down the street is really weird. Yeah. And as you can tell, we're street side, mm -hmm. right next to the fire department. Yep. Sounds so, like something's uh, happening. We'll we'll give them a little bit of leeway here. So they let gonna us go know hose down, that they're hose down that drum circle. <laughs> Like I said, this is 95.7, come to street side, yeah. <laughs> downtown Asheville. So tell us a little bit uh, about your music and uh, how things got started and how you got to where you are. Okay, well... <laughs> in, in 30 seconds or less. Okay, no pressure. Um, well, I um, started singing when I was probably three. I put on some shows on staircases for my parents' friends and they'd come over. Um, they thought it was fun. Then when I got a little older, I just kind of started writing songs on a lawn. Um, and then I, I grew up in church, so I started uh, doing a lot of music within the church, um, but also writing s still spiritual songs, but, but things that were uh, a little less... Uh, uh, just a, a little I, less churchy. I, yeah, a little less churchy. Yeah, that's um, cool. Just kind of based upon my own story, I guess. And uh, so, I ended up uh, moving to Nashville from New Jersey a couple years ago. Not really for music. I assumed I'd be a small fish in a really big pond there. But just with encouragement from my community and stuff, I started to pursue that. Finished up a record last year uh, with my full band project called The Still Small Voice. Um, and yeah, so now I'm touring, I guess. Okay, well, maybe we can get you some radio play on that project. Yeah, that'd be that'd fun. Be cool. <laughs> Sounds good to All me. All right, what are you going to do for us first? Uh, this song's called Laps. Laps? Yeah. Can you spell that, please? L A P S E. Okay, that's uh, what I thought it would kinda be. Kind of like relapse. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> yeah, it's just about making mistakes and recovering from it and okay. all that. Cool. So, Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> all right. Sure. 
All right, nice. Oh, yeah. That's Christiana Benton right here at the Asheville Radio Cafe. And I got to give a shout out to, uh, to Bruce. You know, when Bruce calls me and says, hey, traveling troubadours are coming through and got a couple of new people, I, n I never have to ask any questions. I just plug them into the schedule. He's the best. He's the best. And whoever he sends over here has always got something great to share. So yeah. Big shout out to him. Good guy. Real good yeah. guy. So uh, New Jersey. Um, grew up in New Jersey? Yeah, I did. Uh, up until a couple years ago, that's where I lived for okay. the most part. Yeah. And um, what about church, you know, as far as musically? Uh, it's been a long time since I really got plugged into home, originally from New York. So, oh, okay. Um, things are a lot different <clears throat> there. So yeah. what kind of, uh, as far as music and church, what, 
And when, when you left, what was it anything different or a big sticker shock when you came to Nashville as far as what goes on in the churches musically? Well, kind of. I mean, everybody is a musician in Nashville. Like, literally, it's weird. If you ask somebody if they play something and they're like, oh, no, I'm not a musician, it's a rarity. It's yeah. actually really <laughs> peculiar that way. Um, a- so, Nashville's a close rival right yeah, now. Yeah, apparently. A close rival. Yeah. Um, so, so that, um, like, I go, to, I go to a church called the Anchor Fellowship, uh, in downtown, and our worship team is like f- made up of 40 people because you got more people we're on, on rotation. The team than you have yeah, in the congregation. yeah, we're on rotation, <laughs> um, and they're really talented. So the music's awesome, um, and there are, I mean, there are a thousand churches just in that city. Yeah. Uh, so that was different. I mean, I, I I bartended for a really long time, and people would just be like, kind of you start talking to people about beliefs and whatnot and up north it was kind of like this really taboo thing and down in Nashville it's kind of like oh yeah me too everybody is really used to it so it's it's a totally different vibe altogether very cool yeah very cool. what about radio in New Jersey Christian radio in New Jersey um it's we'll move on to more, more yeah. questions <laughs> yeah so I mean, it's uh, a little bit more on the project how did you how did, you, you put it together a full band for the project. Are these these were friends of yours. Yeah. Um, yeah, they were most. Yeah, they were mostly friends from the anchor. Um, just a lot of talented people. I mean, some of them are probably people who's who are hung up on these walls actually because <laughs> okay. they just. Um, yeah, it was just a really neat music community, and they are willing to give their time um, in friendship and uh, for little to no money, and that was awesome. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I feel really undeserving to have been able to even make it, especially with those people being involved. But just a lot of friends. Very cool. Well, we're looking forward to hearing more of your stuff tonight. Thanks. And uh, welcome, and enjoy your time in Asheville. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks okay. for having us. It's Christina Benton. Christiana. Yeah. Christiana. <laughs> it's okay. okay. Ah, I know, so it's cool. really weird. Okay, and how can people find you um, other than here tonight? <clears throat> Well, I mean, you can add me on Facebook if you want, uh, okay. but also... Maybe spell, spell your first name, because uh, this, is, this is the South, you know, and yeah. it's not a common name down here. Well, just take the word Christian and add an A to the end. That's Christiana, oh. so... Uh, uh, real easy. Yeah, and then um, also... Oh, well, I, d- I forgot to mention that uh, the album is uh, available for free. We fundraised in order to make it so okay. that we could give it to anybody, uh, whether they had money or not. Um, so if you want to download uh, the album for free, it's at www.thestillsmallvoicemusic.com. Okay. And you can do, yeah, you can you can get it there, and you can contact me there, too. Very so. cool. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for coming and yeah, thanks sharing for your music. Us. We're looking forward to hearing more of it tonight. All right, thanks. And you're listening to 95.7 The Choice, coming to you live from the Asheville Radio Cafe, 81 Patton Avenue, getting ready for tonight's lineup of music. Got one more interview to do before we kick it all off. Yeah.